The Pekingese stitch is based on a back stitch, so if you're not sure about that stitch, go and check out that video first because we'll need to work a back stitch first. So I've done one here already. Here's my back stitch, and I'm going to use a contrasting colour here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to come up at the end of that back stitch. It doesn't matter really if you go left to right or right to left, I'm going to go from left to right because right-handed so come up at the end there I'm actually using a double thread now so you can see this a little bit more clearly and there's my first stitch of my back stitch and there's my second so we're going to skip out the first and I'm just going to slide that needle underneath the second I'm using a tapestry needle here so I can slide that easily in the point of the needle doesn't get caught up in the thread so underneath the second don't pull that loop all the way through, leave that on the top first and then I'm coming back towards myself underneath the first, so I'm going round in a loop. And this thread actually goes over the top of this loop which is why I've left that loop there. So you can just pull that through once you've done that. Not too tightly as these loops will disappear. You can just fiddle with the tension just to make sure that's sitting nice and circular there there's my first loop so now I'm going to move along my back stitch and the next back stitch without a pink thread in it that's this one here so back underneath that one away from me there's my loop and I'm coming back towards myself under the previous stitch so that's now got a shared thread in that so underneath that it goes over that loop there you can just pull that tight So under the next back stitch with no thread in it, with no pink thread in it, like so loop it round underneath that previous one back towards me. Make sure it goes over the top of that loop. Just pull up that tension. You can start to see these loops forming around my back stitch now underneath the next one leave the loop backwards on myself back towards me under that previous back stitch pull the loop up try and keep these all nice evenly spaced even tension on there so underneath the next one back on myself Underneath the previous one, make sure that needle goes over the top of the loop, like so. And work your way down your back stitch with a forward and a backwards movement of that thread. This doesn't go through to the back other than the beginning and the end of the stitch, so it's all on top now. Just got to avoid the stem there, so I'm just going to my needle at that angle but exactly the same back through that one over the top of the loop pull it tight And then just to finish off, I've got one more little stitch there at the end. Just going to take it under that one. Back around there. Just pull it tight there because it's the last one. And then just take your needle through to the back at the end on the bottom just to finish that off. And then you can just use the needle just to even out your coils along the, the line there. 
and just makes a really nice decorative finish to your back stitch. Really lovely if you want a beautiful decorative edge to something. So that's Pekingese stitch. <laughs>